meteorologist Nick Jansen. Another day here in February with above average temperatures across the region. I feel like I've said that pretty much every day here this month. Minus one. That was on Friday when we finally had last Friday when we finally had some below average temperatures. Most of us anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees above average across the upper Midwest. Notice today here in Rochester, we were 18 degrees above average right there in the mid 40s with the warm temperatures still to come through the rest of the week. Look at our precip forecast here completely dry. No snow chances in the near future. That means that big snow deficit that we have this winter season will continue to grow. Right now this month we sit at just a six tenths of an inch of snowfall. By the end of the month, if we stay right there, we'll end pretty close to maybe 10, 11 inches below average for the month as a whole. This season we finally got over the 10 inch mark at 10 and a half inches. Uh, we are 26.5 inches below average total for through this date just one season ago uh, for 2022 to 2023 we were already at 36.3 inches of snowfall at rst the map behind me shows the snowfall accumulations all across the country here some of us have seen quite a bit of snowfall right up over 30 inches through des moines towards davenport peoria illinois above average look even kansas city has uh, more snowfall on the season than we do here in Minnesota. It's really funny if you kind of look at it, stretching from about Fargo, Minneapolis, and then towards us in, in southeast Minnesota, we kind of have just this hole in the graphic where we haven't had a lot of snowfall. Even Duluth, just at 18 inches of snow, Fargo at 9. So it's not just us missing out on the snowfall. It's really those areas uh, far off to the north of I-80. That storm track has been about I-80 south through most of the winter. Well, that continues, at least the dry spell continues. Partly cloudy and quiet here tonight, this week. Obviously way, way too warm for any type of snowfall chances, so a big zero there in terms of those snowfall chances moving forward. Lewis and Nattle live camera tonight. We're at 33, mainly clear. Wind out of the southeast at 14 miles per hour. Makes it feel like 23 outside. Temperatures locally, most of us still looking at those mid 30s. You'll wake up tomorrow, probably right around freezing. Future track radar, we have partly cloudy to mainly clear conditions. Some high level clouds out to the west. Warm front still draped across the region here. That'll keep our wind out of the south southeast and will help those temperatures again tomorrow. So looking at temps by tomorrow morning, we should hold steady. Start things off. We might barely dip down into the upper 20s, but most of us right around freezing tomorrow morning. Back in the mid 40s for highs, so close to 44, 45 degrees in and out of some cloud cover throughout the night into Wednesday morning and watch the temperatures climb right back into the upper 40s and some low 50s again for Wednesday. We'll have a brief cool down by the end of the week. Temps here tonight, 29 for the overnight low, partly cloudy and mild here tonight, well above average. Your town forecast tomorrow along the River Valley, high temperatures, mid 40s, maybe getting close to 50 in a couple spots. Here in Rochester, we're at 44 for the high tomorrow. Wouldn't be surprised if we're close to anywhere from 44 to 46 degrees, maybe getting close to 47 if you're close to the Iowa-Minnesota border. Northern Iowa in the upper 40s and low 50s for highs tomorrow. Mason City close to 50, Charles City right at 50 for that high tomorrow. 10 day forecast here tonight at 10. We'll see some sunshine Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then on Monday, our next system moves in next Tuesday, 50 for the high then. So we're still looking at some rainfall. Uh, so that 10 day forecast, Caitlin, how many times have I walked over here and said, that's not a very February like forecast, what every we're night? We're on a loop, we're just, on a loop, right? Yeah, it's like Groundhog Day, just over but and I over and over But I feel like again. regardless of how someone feels, like pro snow, pro early spring, the long stretch of sunshine is something we can all really agree Sunny on. Sunny skies, everyone likes sunshine, right? Yes. All right, Nick, thank you.